Hey, good morning. Good morning. Facebook's being wonky again. Yeah. I'm Dr. Robin. This is Russ. Together we're the founders of the Whole Food Muscle Club and we've written the book How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way. And we come on here every day, well Monday through Friday anyway, about 9.15 and give you some health information, some fitness information, share our journey with you. We're a little late today though. I'm going to get the phone. You're going to get the phone. This is disturbing it's, it's to me. walking you out. Yes. We're late today. It's totally my fault. That is because um, I really wanted to finish the uh, workout that I made up in my head that I wanted to do. So the workout that I did today, I rode um, 2,000 meters and I did it really fast, well at least fast for me, in 10 minutes, like I made it point, like I want to do it in 10 minutes. <laughs> did that, then I um, did a medicine ball where I throw the medicine ball in the air and catch it and throw it at the ground. So um, 18 pound medicine ball. And then I did some back and forths over the top of uh, a little step thing. And then I did another 2,000 meters. I did that one in 11 minutes, so a little bit slower. Hmm. And then I did the things with the medicine ball and the steppy thing again, twice. And then I decided I was gonna row, so I had already rowed 4,000 meters, I decided I was gonna row another 4,000 meters, but I was gonna do the interval where you do 500 meters basically as fast as you can, so in two and a half minutes, that's kind of my, my limit, as fast as I can do it, two, two and a half minutes. Take a minute break and do another one. And I did eight of those, so I did another 2,000. That's why we're late, because I, wanted, I was like, I wanted to do this workout. I'm like tired just listening. It was great. It was great. Let's see what the comments are. If it'll let me see them. Good morning. Good morning. I think it says Adam, maybe. If yeah, it does it's, say It's Adam. really like light. It's oh, here we wonky. go. Oh, we can see him down here. Oh, uh, yeah, happy, it does say Adam. Happy Friday, Adam. Same to you, Wendy. Wendy, yeah. All right. So, it's Friday, so we're going to do our weekend review and talk to you about the give you a summary of the topics we talked about. If any of these topics are of interest to you, you can go back and watch the videos from this past week. Just make sure you do it before the weekend is out because then they get deleted and they become content for exclusively for our members. Right. So, um, and we have a lot of videos. We've been doing this now for more than two years, five days a week. So we have a lot of content. Good morning, Deborah. Deborah's here, yay. All right, so on Monday, we talked to you about burning mouth syndrome. Mm -hmm. And uh, burning mouth syndrome um, is when your, your mouth literally feels like it's on fire. You can't drink hot coffee, you can't eat hot soup, um, your tongue hurts. And what we learned is that that is caused by a B12 deficiency. Which is the one thing we tell continuously or tell people that, that watch us to do is to make sure you take vitamin B12, regardless of what If you, you listen to nothing else we tell you, Right. And regardless of whether you are eating a standard American diet, a vegetarian diet, a vegan diet, uh, the whole food muscle way, regardless. Paleo, whatever. whatever. I don't care. Vitamin B12 is no longer supplied in the food chain the way it used to be. And so there are more deficiencies popping up. And this particular individual that we know of that had it is a standard American diet person. Yep. And their B12 And deficient. we had told them to take a B12. Right. Hey, Lynn. Good morning. It's good, good morning, to see you. Lynn. So, yeah, we, we told the person to take a B12. Tammy, didn't, too. Did you see Tammy? Tammy? I didn't see Tammy. Yes. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. So, take a B12. I beg of you. It's cheap. You can't overdose on it. It's easy. Just take a sublingual and um, make sure that you let it dissolve in your mouth because once you swallow it, um, it your stomach acid kills it. So you want to take your B12 and let it absorb through the mucous membranes in your mouth. Cool. Super important. So that was Monday. On Tuesday, we talked to you about a study of eggs versus oatmeal. And this particular study, um, Deborah says she takes a B12 good every day. Good for you, Deborah. Awesome. Good job. That's good. We take it twice a week. And our, our blood work is fine. Right. So eggs versus oatmeal study. We told you about a really funny study that we saw. And funny because what they said they came up with was ridiculous. They came up with that eggs were better for you than oatmeal, but they did it by comparing eggs to sugar packet oatmeal, right. the, the packets of instant oatmeal that aren't really oatmeal. Right. So basically they said eggs are better than eating pure sugar. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't say much. So, um, and we talked extensively on Tuesday about how you really, when you start seeing these studies that come out in the press, you have to be able to, uh, you know, really look at them and say, mm -hmm. is this legitimate science or is this marketing? Hi, hey. Karen. Oh, yay. It's Friday night in Australia. Welcome to your weekend then. Um, so, um, you don't need to take it with food. I'm assuming that uh, Lynn is asking about yeah. B12. You do not need to take it uh, with food. And it's a sublingual, which are mostly what you'll find out there. It just sits under your tongue and it dissolves. And it has, usually has some kind of flavoring to it, like a cherry, cherry or something or whatever, like that. Yeah. 
Yeah. The one caveat to that is don't take it with coffee. Yes, don't take it with um, coffee. Just the caffeine does... Caffeine... It, will, it just will, does wonky things to vitamins. And it depletes your vitamins, yeah. So it'll run so, through your system. Yeah. yeah. So just don't take it with caffeine. But other than that, whenever. We usually take it after breakfast just because that's when... It, Russ is really good about putting it out on the table. Yes. So I would never remember to take it if Russ didn't put our B12 out on the table. Um, all right, so then on Wednesday, we talked to you briefly about how fake sugars can cause weight gain. And we talked a lot about sugars and what they do to your GI tract, uh, fake sugars, and what they do to your GI tract. But the reason they cause weight gain is because they do give your body a sweet taste. And that taste leads to your body going, oh, I'm expecting calories. But mm -hmm. then you don't get it. And so then your body says, oh, I need to make up those calories I expected to get. And so take, uh, ingesting fake sugar makes you eat more later. Right. So that's how it causes weight gain. Anything else? Oh, it, does, it scrolls by itself? Yeah. How fancy it, yeah. is your is that, is that That's cool? nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, fake sugars, I would really rather you just go ahead and, and use real sugar. Um, obviously, sparingly. It's not, mm -hmm. humans don't need sugar. We just like it a lot. Um, and if you can you eat real fruit for that sweet taste that you need, all the better. Because that, then you're getting the fiber and the nutrients and the vitamins and all the great all things. All the good stuff. Whereas if you're taking in things like sugar and honey and agave and all those stuff, you're not getting a whole lot of value. Right. Um, the one caveat to that is if you use date sugar, that is just dried dates. So it is a whole food. And so you will get some value uh, from What from you would that. get from a date, basically. Yeah, yeah. basically. All right, and then yesterday we had a conversation about water that isn't really water. Yeah. Um, and I mean, so it is water, it is legally water because the first ingredient is water. And as you said yesterday, Coca-Cola is water. It's, it's main ingredient it's main is ingredient water. Is water. So. But um, what we're seeing now in the industry, because there is more of a health consciousness and people are trying to move away from drinking soda, is that we're seeing the industry starting to label things as water even though they have sugar in them. Um, this is particularly um, true of things like vitamin water, mm -hmm. sugar, smart water right. has uh, calcium carbonate in it, which we have told you can't, they say, oh, it has calcium in it, it's great for you. But if you are at risk of having a heart attack, ingesting calcium carbonate like that in that form and in the form of supplements can raise your risk of having a heart attack because it spikes the calcium in your blood which is not the way your body is designed to take in your calcium so um you know we told you just be wary about drinking things that are labeled water or um coke is coming out with a new thing called ah i think eight a h h or eight i don't know anyway it's new and it has you know vitamins and sugar and all this it also has caffeine Right. So it's water that has caffeine in it. Right. And the other thing that you mentioned about the vitamin water in particular is it's got almost as much sugar in it as regular soda. So yeah. it's not healthy. So it's unfortunately, healthy. you have to start reading your labels if you're drinking bottled water. Um, as we mentioned yesterday, all you need is one of those filters. You know, we use this. I'm, it's, it's fortunate I have it here again. Uh, and we just filter our water through that, and that is more than efficient and sufficient. You know, we did have one person who commented, carbon filters are not ideal. Are there other things that do bit more filtering and bigger and better? And yes, there are. But generally speaking, just a regular carbon filter, the one that's in your fridge, as long as you change it regularly, is gonna be good enough. Mm -hmm. You know, here we are not about absolutely perfect or it's failure. Yeah, we're not we're not putting ourselves in a bubble. No. We're not gonna be a bubble boy or a bubble girl and, no. and never touch society or the world. I mean we have to live in this environment. So yeah. we're just trying to be as healthy as we can while we're living and existing. And, and I do like bubbly water, although I have some cognitive dissidents about the fact that it's packed usually in plastic. plastic. So um, I have started seeing bubbly water available in cans, which is e more easily recyclable. So maybe I need to start making a, more, a better point of doing that. Hope you're having so, better weather there. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, so Wendy asked, which picture is that? So this is a... It's uh, old. Yeah, so this is a, a Brita, I it's think. It's a Brita, yeah. Uh, but I actually read something about this, and, and apparently the pure version of this is the better version. It, fil it? Okay. Yeah, it filters better. So um, if you're asking what I'd recommend, I'd say get the pure brand. Somebody tell call Brita and tell them that we're giving them a plug and they no, should call, pay us. No, call Pure, because we just gave Pure a plug. Okay, Pure a plug. <laughs> tell Pure to call us right. and pay us for that. Right, right. But uh, <laughs> I would recommend the Pure over the Brita, and they're probably the same price. Yeah. So. I've, I've had this picture for a really long time. It's actually starting to show some wear, but because you can change the filter in it, as long as it works, I'm going to keep using it. Right. 
Because yeah. it is plastic, and I don't want to throw it And again, that's not to say this is bad. So if you have it, don't dump yeah, it. Yeah, don't dump pure. it. Get a different one. I'm just saying that if you don't have either, you ask me which one to get, get the pure. Okay. Well, I'm glad you read about that. Yeah, and they should be gonna... sending me a commission, but they, they probably won't. Yeah, they should send you a commission. It's totally <coughs> Do you have anything else you want to add for our... Uh... I Our think, weekend review. I think that's it. All right. So this weekend in the Whole Food Muscle group, I will be cooking probably early on Saturday afternoon because we are having friends over for dinner tomorrow. So today I'm going to um, make all the stuff that needs to go into sweet potato lasagna. And tomorrow live, I will put it together for you. So you'll get to see what goes into the sweet potato lasagna because we're having friends over. So that I'm not exactly sure about the timing, but it'll probably be uh, early in the afternoon uh, tomorrow when I put that together. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Wendy, I'm not really sure what the zero water filter is. I've not personally heard of that. And in the article I read just talked, just were pretty much comparing uh, Pure and Brita. Yeah. If it's a carbon filter, it's good. Right. Um, if it's better than a carbon filter, it's better. Right. So, um, and that, that is something that would require some research. So I can, I can add that to the list of things that I look into for our a uh, live Q&A webinar that we do Which for... Which is next Tuesday. Is it next Tuesday it's already? Next Tuesday. Oh my goodness. So for members of the Whole Food Muscle Club, and if you want to become a member, you can go to wholefoodmuscleclub.com. Uh, we do a live Q&A, Ask Us Anything webinar on the third Tuesday of every month. And so I will add that and I will do some research about that. Anything else? That's it. All right. We are going to eat and I am very hungry because I wrote a lot of meters today. <laughs> so with that, we'll say... Eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great weekend, Have guys. a good one. We'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you on Monday.